In center of China, Hunan province, there is a fantastic scenic interest area called Wulingyuan. Peaks in Wulingyuan are lofty and serried, covering a huge area together with abrupt steeps. The immense scenery of mountains is truly spectacular. In an area of some 360 square kilometers, more than 3,000 peaks, of which over 1,000 rise at least 400 meters, can be found here. This unique theory had not been found until 1979 by a famous artist Wu Guanzong. At that time, the landscape here had no name. In 1984, another artist, Huang Yongyu, suggested to name this amazing scenery as Wuling Yuan because it is located in the middle of Wulin Mountains. On October of the same year, Chinese government officially set up Wulin Scenic Area, which consists of three parts, Zhang Jiajie National Park, Suo Xi Yu Nature Reserve, and Tianzi Mountain Natural Reserve, covering a total area of 26,000 acres, of which 369 square kilometers is a key scenic area. It used to take tourists a long time to pass up to the peak, but nowadays, cableway has been installed in almost every scenic area. Up to the peak by cable car, you can find a totally different view waiting for you. Flourishing trees move slowly under your feet, while strangely shaped sandstone pillars pass by your shoulder. In foggy days, you may find yourself surrounded by a vast expanse of whiteness, as fantastic as in the cloud land. The final station of the cableway is Tianzi Mountain. Tianzi Mountain is one of the most important scenic areas, accompanying with Yuan Jiajie and Suo Xi Yu. The highest peak in its mountain range is 1,256 meters. Overlooked from the top, thousands of mountains and ravines are under your eyes. Therefore, he is one of the most favorite places by many photographers and tourists. In the narrow splendor and beauty of Wuling Yuan shows itself various styles. Chinese like to appreciate mountains by depicting them with adjectives, such as strange, grand, steepy, and elegant. And here you can find a representation of all above. These three sandstone mountains of different height, standing side by side, with pines growing on the peak, look just like upside-down brush pans. That is why people call these three as Yu Bi Fong, Royal Pan Mountains. Here, this sandstone mountain looks like a girl who carries a basket on her back with many small hills that resemble petals under her feet. Therefore, it is called as Tian Nui San Hua, Throwing Petals Peri. This sandstone mountain that is called as Cai Yao Lao Ren, Picking Up Herb Odi, is some 30 meters height. It looks like an Odi of Tuja nationality, carrying a basket who just pack up herb from the mountain. Strangely shaped sandstone pillars and peaks surrounded with clouds and fog provide Chinese artists vision of Chinese traditional ink and paper joins in reality. Clouds and fog that rise up from mysterious deep valley, apt or during rainy days, floating between peaks, changing from time to time, offers fantastic views. Fog makes Flinty Mountain more enchanting, elegant, and mystic under the sun. The most beautiful view of Wuling Yuan can only be seen after rain, especially heavy and long-lasting rain. 
because after the rain, air can be much more clear. While fog rises up, scenery becomes more changeful and majestic. If sun appears from clouds, sunshine can make the view much more bright. However, it is a once-in-a-lifetime chance. Yuan Jia Jie is another famous scenic area of Wuling Yuan, which is located between Suoxi Yu and Tianzi Mountain. It is some 1,100 meters height, and tourists can take 335 meter height by long observation elevator up to the peak, which is less than 100 square kilometers massa. Overlooking from the peak, valleys under Yuan Jia Jie Mountains, despite their flat masses or steeper steles, seem almost identical height, as if they were staying in the image as soon as they grew the same height. The creator of great nature sets an inartificial flagstone between the peaks of the east and west mountains. This natural stone bridge is 350 meters height and 50 meters span and is known as the highest one in the world at present. Yet, how was the fantastic physiognomy of Wuling Yuan formed? Jin Bian Xi Brook is named as a Chinese weapon, Bian or whip, because a rock which is found here resembles a whip. The whole brook is 5,700 meters long. Here the scientists have found a rock whose surface has some trace of ocean current rushing, and then more ancient fossils have been discovered in succession. After evaluating the elements of Jin Bian Xi Brook's rock, the scientists find that the content of quartz is at really an incredible rate, 95%. This discovery opened the door for them to find out the mysterious answer to the nature. Afterwards, combined with the result of ancient fossil research, experts conclude that Wuling Yuan was a beach beside the sea about 350 million years ago. The quartz here was formed by bad load from inland, which contained a mound of quartz. After deposition, concreting of millions of years, these quartz became flat masses. We can find such fold terrain everywhere, which is the relic of orogeny. This phenomenon proved that orogeny occurred here two billion years ago, which pushed the massa out of the land surface, while formed the mountains and resulted in the valleys in the same direction. The exit of Jin Bian Xi Brook is called Shui Rao Xi Man, where four brooks influx together and is surrounded by sandstone pillars. In the northeast of the Zhang Jia Jie National Park is another scenic area, Suo Xi Yu. Standing in these places, you would probably get touched by the magnificent relics of the ancient time during which rivers and streams brush the terrain. Time goes by and brings a great change to the world. Finally, the masterpiece of great nature has been created. It is a scientific research and analysis that finally determine Wuling Yuan's unique status in the world's karst landform. Although Yuan Jia Jie, Tian Zi Shan, and Suo Xi Yu are in one scenic area, the landform of each is definitely different with others. According to the geological definition, they were formed in different times. If we compare them to humans' lifetime, Yuan Jia Jie is an adolescent, Tian Zi Shan is a mature adult, and Suo Xi Yu a senior old. The cave is called Huanglong Dong, which was formed by crustal movement and stream pushing. While entering this cave, 
you can feel exactly cool even in hot summer. Huang Long Dong involves 13 halls, 96 aisles, three waterfalls, and a river underground. Walking alongside the river, you would see various fantastic rocks around. Such marvelous vision was created by the great change of billion years. However, what will happen in the future of the Earth history? According to the principles of crustal movement and climate condition changes, geologists claim that as time goes by, these sandstone pillars would change their shape and shrink, and in the end will become sandstone that will go back to the ocean carried by the stream. In 1992, the Wuling Yuan Scenic Area joined into the big family of World Natural Heritage. Together with Yellowstone National Park, Colorado Grand Canyon, and other World Natural Heritage, Wuling Yuan is called as last miracle of Earth. Now there are dense forests that cover all the mountains of Wuling Yuan. The forest coverage rate here is as high as 97.9% and forests have grew for thousands of years without being cut down. Known as living fossils, rare wild plants like smata sequoia, ginkgo, dory tree, and lobster flower can be found everywhere. You may touch a leaf of some rare wild plant while walking in the dense forest. Forest provides a good environment for wild animals to propagate and perch. Wuling Yuan has a very rich resource of wild animals, among which 28 kinds are under A-level National Animal Protection. This not good looking animal is giant salamander. It is a big existing amphibian in the world. The color of the skin can change with the circumstance, but most of the time it is brown and its back is piebald. People call it Hua Hua Yu or baby fish because giant salamander can shout like a brown baby. Tuja nationality, Miao nationality and other minority nationalities have lived in Wuling Yuan for generations. This is Mao Gu Si, a primitive drummer of Tuja nationality. Mao Gu Su dance has a strong color of a ceremony that people offer sacrifices to the god or ancestors. It is a way of Tuja nationality to show their respect to nature and ancestors. It was a very holy ceremony and now has become a simple dancing form which is performed for tourists every day at this artificial scenic zone. Though the character of dancing has changed, in their figure and eyesight, we still can find their respect to the ancestors.
Youth of Tuja nationality express love by singing songs. Love is eternal for human being. However, Wu Lingyuan is unique for the earth.